friends, Amanda here with you today and welcome to another Sweet November's YouTube hop. Today I'm going to be creating this really fun festive card with the new stamp set from Sweet November's, Sugar and Spice. And I just love these little baking wees, they are so cute. Here you can see I've used the die set from Whimsy Stamps, the chicken coop, and I've cut it down because I want it to look like a table. So I'm just using my vintage photo distress oxide and then ground espresso as well to darken up some of the edges. And I'm just ink blending this on my waffle flower um, mat this thing is really cool i don't have to hold on to my little die cuts they stay pretty pretty good and yeah so i'm just going to ink uh, the edges just to give it some more depth and dimension and then i'm going to also cut out the lattice part of the chicken coop to create a little lattice right in front of the little goodies that come in this set. You've got some cookies and some sugar and some flour, rolling pins, bowls, things like that, measuring cups. This, this stamp set I think is my favorite. It's so cute. All right, so just ink blending this all up, getting it all nice. There's that lattice and I cut it in half. And I'm just going to make a little lattice front for it and the top is going to be there. And that is just the floor. Here I'm taking a jar set from La La Land Crafts and I'm just going to use a little bit of Copic Marker C1 and just making it look a little bit like it's shiny. Give it some more depth. And I'm gonna give them red tops. Now the reds that I'm using for all of this um, the Copic markers. Um, they are the colors R39, R29, R24. And those are the reds that I'm going to be using for this whole card. Those are the, the only reds that I use um, when it comes to the images. I use blush color R20 and R00. And then the green color that I use is G28. Uh, G07, G20, YG25, and YG03. For the whites, the colors that I'm using are uh, W3, W1, and W0. And here you can see I'm just placing them on that shelf that I created. It's so cute. I love little little tiny stamps. I don't know if it's just the kid in me, but they're just so cute. Who wouldn't want to play with little tiny stamps? All right, just putting that lattice on. And then I'm going to trim off some of this top part that we just don't need to have. And then laying on that board on top to make it look like a table. Sorry if my voice is cutting in and out. I'm still not 100% yet, but we're getting there. All right, you can see that I have die cut another slimline piece, and this is also by Whimsy Stamps, Scalloped Peekaboo Die Set. And I'm using Candied Apple distress oxide and I'm just going over the top portion of it because the bottom portion of it I'm also going to be using vintage photo and ground espresso so to darken up my reds I'm just using black soot and I'm going over the very edges of that and then I'm going to go back in again with the candied apple um, distress oxide
as you can see, I didn't go all the way up to the red. I don't need to because that table is going to lay right smack dab in the middle of that whole section. So there is no need, but I did go up on the sides uh, of both of the ends because the sides will be exposed. So I do go up to the sides, but I do not need to go all the way across the middle. All right, so I am only going to share one coloring of these adorable little wees. Um, it took me a very long time, so um, it's the same process for all of them. But for the skin tones, I'm using E04, uh, E13, E11, uh, E00, and E000. For, this, for the cheeks, it's R20 and R00. So again, I will link all of the colors for your convenience down in the description box below, along with all of the products. Um, but for right now, I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to start coughing. So uh, I will let you watch me color and we'll come back while we assemble the card. And just like that, with the magic of recording, it's all done. I have fussy cut out all of the images and now we're just going to glue it onto the card. I have used a foam adhesive for the back of that table and um, I've popped it up 
so like this little image she has foam adhesive behind her head and I've glued her to the table everything else is going to be glued down to the table so I don't have to have too much um, images that pop out these little these little baking wees are so cute I really hope sweet November like does another uh, set of baking ones in the future because I could see a whole little village of baking wees. It's just so fun. All right. Um, on some of their faces, uh, it is not um, part of the stamp set, but I did put frosting on their face. The one, the girl there in the middle, she's baking and she has it all over her little apron. So I thought, how cute would it be to make it look like they really had a party and a good time and got it all over their faces. So the one little girl on the end with the green hat, she's got green frosting on her face. And then the little girl, the little chef in the middle there, she's got brown frosting on her face. And they're just so cute. And I'm just sending these little these little images in random places and I will come back through with the reds the browns and I am going to uh, match them to the same uh, color that they're placed on so if the brown is showing I will Copic color brown around them so that the wees stand out more than the little accessories all right, we are almost done adding all of these little baking accessories everywhere around this card. Um, I do stamp out my sentiment on black paper and then use a white embossing paper and place it on the center of the card. And I also use a light brown card stock behind it and glue it to my card. I hope you guys had a good day. Thanks for stopping. Bye.